Welcome back everyone. Some of you have asked me if this is my new lab where I filmed a few weeks ago, but I have to be honest with you. It's not my lab. As much as I wish that it were, it isn't. It is the junior labor of the Technical University of Darmstadt and it's basically a lab where schools can go to to do some very cool experiments. So in today's video I'm going to be covering this laboratory and what you could do there when you are at a school in Germany living near Darmstadt. I can't show you everything so we're in the lab now because in the other room there's people and I haven't asked them if they wanted to be filmed. You can't just come to this lab on your own because it's more or less like a school lab. If your school is located near Darmstadt, you may ask your chemistry teacher if he could book an appointment. I don't know exactly how booking an appointment would work, so I just linked their website down in the video description. What you see here are some of the experiments the people who are currently here are doing. Experiments may be focused on making pigments, on what the air is composed of, or even making stuff like aspirin. All of the instructions are well written and extremely informative. If you go here with your school, you can be sure that you learn a lot. I had to blur the instructions because I don't know if I'm allowed to share them, but all of this stuff is pretty cool. If you take a look at my home lab, this lab right here is extremely professional. I'm sure that I'll never reach these levels. Some of these glassware pieces I haven't even seen before and I don't even know what they are used for. The only thing in which I can compete is probably a powder addition funnel. They don't have a powder addition funnel. I've been in this lab to film a few interesting projects for you guys to enjoy because in a professional lab the safety standards are definitely higher than at home. There are many preparations that require a good fumut and you simply can't do that at home. One of these experiments to be done under fumut is what some other people did right here. They made nylon and when nylon is being made it will generate some hydrochloric acid and you don't want to inhale that. In chemistry it's often more important to draw a conclusion from an experiment and to learn something new than to do the actual experiment itself. In this lab you will discuss ideas with your colleagues while diving deeply into the fascinating world of chemistry. Here's an example. Did you know that you could coat glass in real silver? I didn't. It's way easier to make silicon oil than you might think. It's even possible to learn about chemistry going on in the ocean and in the environment. You may even liquefy air or make edible ice using extremely cold liquid nitrogen. I can't talk about all of the experiments you may do here with your class because there are simply too many. Check out their website for more. I appreciate that I've been allowed to do so many amazing experiments here. 